Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Subhash Chandran. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the major doubts in piping engineering career. So I truly truly believe that these doubts will clarify your uh, existing doubts in your mind and will set your mind on the right track. So please watch all of this uh, clarification so that it will help you to set how you have to drive your career in piping engineering. So without wasting time, let's get started. So the first question that I have been uh, continuously watching in my channel is that whether I can take SP3D admin or PDS admin or E3D admin kind of a job whether is it good to take an admin kind of a job or not. One thing I wanted to make it very clear is that admin kind of a job is an IT kind of a job and it's nowhere related to the engineering uh, uh, jobs actually because uh, these jobs are going to support the engineering. Basically, you are going to work on the background of the software in order to support the uh, the, the software utilities and uh, if there is any bugs in the software that you will figure out. So, if you are interested in IT kind of uh, job and you can take this job. If you are not interested, you stick on to the engineering. That is what I would say. And the second important thing what I have observed from my experience is that as uh, far as the growth is concerned in the admin kind of a job and the growth uh, prospects are very less because there is no hierarchy actually. So maximum you will become a lead of particular team actually after that what so that is one of the question. Uh, it could be maybe I am not uh, I, maybe I haven't seen such uh, thing but according to me growth um, prospects or the growth opportunities are much better in engineering areas. In engineering area you can become anything actually see for years and if you are a piping engineer then you can become a project engineer then you can become a project manager or you can start your own company so that's completely a different area. So this is it actually if you are interested in IT kind of a job please take it if you are not interested in IT kind of a job don't take it don't choose any field just for the sake of money it will not help you in a long run. So now let's go to the point number two. So the second doubt is that whether I can change my current job and join the piping design engineering field or not. So basically the many people are interested in uh, quitting the current job and going to an other field. So these are the kind of people who are not satisfied in their current job and want to switch over to some of an allied job. So uh, here what I wanted to tell you is that you have to answer yourself for these questions that I am going to ask you now. First of all evaluate yourself whether uh, you uh, for what reason you are quitting the current job. Is it because of your salary if you are um, quitting because of the salary you will face the same issue in piping design also. So you can think about it and uh, the second point is that if you are not um, satisfied with the kind of a job that you are doing. So uh, for that you, you will uh, prepare your mindset in such a way that when you are coming to piping design initially you will experience some sort of a, a friction some sort of a restrictions uh, to make yourself comfortable with this field because this is a new field you do not know anything about it. So you cannot expect that you will become comfortable or not. See only if you are interested in going through a documents going through a drawings and interested in uh, true engineering and taking hell of a time in reviewing the drawings and assisting the team managing the people managing the uh, the projects and um, uh, and in the, the uh, middle you have to uh, perform also. So these kind of jobs if you are interested definitely you can join piping engineering. Please evaluate before uh, jumping from your current job to uh, the piping job if you are already getting a new good salary and uh, a good package and uh, good uh, I mean uh, if you are reasonably placed in a good company then I will never never uh, recommend you to uh, shift your current job to piping job because see we have an opportunity in all the jobs across the world no doubt about it. Only thing is that we have to open our mind and we have to uh, take enough training in order to uh, elevate in order to move from one level to an another level. So going to uh, going from one field to a piping is definitely possible actually but provided you have to set your mind that you will face the same issue what you are facing in the current job. Okay. Now let's move on to the point number three is how to become a piping design engineer. So for this the simple answer is that I have already posted couple of videos in my channel you can go through those videos those videos will help you will guide you step by step so that you know from where you have to start what you have to do and what is the timeline basically for anything to become uh, or for or for to learn anything or to 
um, become a particular engineer or in any expert in any field, you need to give a time. It's like a process actually. You start from one point, you learn several things and you experience several things and then you become uh, the person that you wanted to become actually. Piping design engineering is also like that. You have some set of uh, things that you have to learn, set of experience that you have to gain so that you will become a piping design engineer. It will become, I mean, it is 100% possible. Look at the videos or else I will uh, share the link in the uh, description of this video. It will help you to um, see how you have to pro progress from one point to another point to become a piping design engineer. Now let's move on to the fourth point. The fourth point is, can I choose piping design engineering for better future? So first of all, let me tell you, in this world, we have uh, more than 1000 different fields actually. We cannot name a particular field as worst field because we do not know what is the future of that particular field after 10 years or 5 years. But only thing we can guarantee is that we can invest uh, ourselves in order to improve knowledge, in order to become better and better in life, in order to uh, distinguish ourselves from all others so that you will shine in whichever area that you go. So for this question, I will say that it's not only piping, all other fields in the world has an opportunity. It is up to you and it is up to your caliber. It is up to your dedication. It's up to your hard work to become successful in any field, to make your future bright or to become successful anything. It is with you actually. It's not about the field. It could be of any field. So don't please change your mindset in such a way that don't think that uh, if you go to another field, you will fail or if you come to piping, you will succeed. It's not like that. Any field, you can definitely shine better as long as you are set your mind, you are dedicated and you can do hard work and you are ready to learn also. Now let's go to the fifth doubt actually. How many different calculations are available in piping design engineering? Uh, there could be many but uh, let me share my knowledge actually. I think one of the major calculations generally we do in piping design engineering is the thickness calculation. In thickness calculation, we have uh, thickness calculation based on internal pressure and as well as external pressure. And the second set of calculation we do is that uh, branching calculation and uh, reinforcement calculations actually. And the third I would say it's uh, hydrostatic calculation and uh, the fourth I would say some uh, I think uh, uh, blank uh, thickness calculation. You can calculate the thickness of the blind and spectacle blinds based on the uh, design pressure of the line. And I think um, the another calculation that I have experienced is that uh, pneumatic test calculation which is actually not a part of uh, ASME B31.3, it's a part of PCC1. Uh, it's again one of an uh, uh, I mean uh, American standard where you would find this calculation for in case of uh, the, um, uh, the, the volume of pneumatic uh, tested portion of piping is more, what you have to do. So basically you have to qualify this particular calculation to proceed for pneumatic test um, in your uh, piping system. And uh, the next is there are other calculations in piping stress engineering but as far as piping design is concerned you have, uh, I think you have um, the miter bend calculation, uh, you have to um, the finalize the degrees of the miter bend and I think um, you have, uh, uh, I think these are the, the major calculations piping design in but if you go to pipe stress you have couple of uh, other calculation okay see one thing that i forgot is that the space calculation which is the very generic calculation that we do the space between two pipes actually this also i have uh, uh, i think posted the videos in my uh, channel you can look back my previous videos to understand that but in stress we have some other couple of calculations such as reaction force calculation and uh, the nozzle loads calculations and you have um, um, what do you call uh, the span calculations so there are many other calculations with respect to stress engineering. But as far as piping design is concerned, these are the generic calculations that we do. Uh, the, this is what I have experienced. Maybe I might, might not have experienced many things, but this is the general calculation we all do actually. Now let's go to the point number six. Point number six is that, is it necessary to learn pipe stress analysis? This is one of the fantastic question. See, let me tell you, 
at the beginning level you don't uh, have to uh, show your expertise in many other areas but definitely if you wanted to lead the project if you wanted to become a senior engineer or lead engineer or a project engineer you wanted to understand this um, i mean the areas of piping so that you can handle the whole uh, projects say for an example if uh, you are a person who do not know anything about stress actually so if any issues comes in your project you may not be able to handle at the same time the person who has this caliber can handle the situation better and he will get promoted for the next level so this is what generally happens but if you improve yourself and if you learn new things uh, new things such as uh, pipe stress analysis pipe materials and constructions complexities these things if you learn it will help you in order to execute your piping design projects comfortably and effortlessly so the answer is that it is really really important to learn pipe stress analysis if you wanted to become a senior engineer or a lead engineer so let's move on to the next question the next question is how a fresher can get a real experience so here what generally happens is that most of the freshers they apply jobs from online portal without seeing the general requirements of the job see if you are applying for a job where one or two years of experience has been um, asked actually so definitely they will expect you to deliver such a knowledge but if you are applying for fresher job where only freshers are called actually i don't think that you will be questioned for your true ex i mean real experience so here the key is that even if you are going for any kind of in, uh, interview you need to have a basic knowledge actually but if you are applying for a 5 years of a job i mean uh, those uh, the jobs which required 5 years of uh, experience then definitely you will be tested so what i would say is that try to um, apply for a job which has a relevant requirement according to your uh, caliber according to your skills and according to your cv so that you will not face this actually and uh, now the let's come to the answer actually see if you wanted to have a real experience before working it is not possible right you can only theoretically improve your knowledge you can uh, go through books and you can uh, learn some software you can prepare yourself actually but true experience will come only from the working project so as far as the true experience for a fresher is concerned actually you have to prepare yourself in such a way you know the basic knowledge and apply for the fresher jobs alone so that you will get an opportunity but if you are applying for a uh, 2 years or 3 years experience job definitely you will be questioned for that if you are ready you can prepare yourself you can take a lot of training there are a lot of people available now you have udemy you have experienced people in linkedin you can uh, ask them to provide some training or you can check the any institutes where you can get this kind of a trainings actually but as far as freshers are concerned actually if you are applying for that particular job nobody will ask you the real experience so now let's move on to the next question the next question is what is the best institute to learn piping design engineering there are many institutes and i will never name which is a uh, best and which is a worst because this is a biggest discrimination see generally your experience may vary from institute to institute even if you join a good institute you may not be able to learn something because your mind is not ready to learn but if you are completely relying on the brand of the institute that will never work let me tell you on face actually but if you are interested to learn anything you can find any institute which are able to teach you that particular concept if you are willing to learn software you can just find an institute where you can learn that software do not try to find the best institute best institutes will charge you hefty money and they will teach you the standard uh, whatever that they wanted to teach you uh, for that particular software or any tool but if you are really wise enough and you have to think like this uh, try to list down your uh, requirements what you have to learn then find an institute you can find multiple institutes or you can find one institute but do not try to join do not try to find the best institute there is no such things you have to go with the with your requirement there is no such best institutes in piping design now let's move on to the next question the next question is that what is the future in rotary and static uh, engineering jobs in oil and gas see as far as the opportunities are concerned generally for rotary and uh, static requirement jobs the opportunities are less uh, but if you compare to uh, the piping engineering the number of opportunities the i mean the number of jobs are more actually in a company if the there is an engineering company you can only see fewer uh, rotary and static person working but uh, the piping design engineers may be more actually on that perspective i would say that piping design engineering is far better than 
uh, rotary and static but in terms of technicality both are equally same okay this is what it is actually now you can decide which one you wanted to make if you are worried about opportunities then go to piping if you are worried about the uh, technicalities you can choose either rotary or you can choose the piping also but one of the advantage for rotary and static is that you will get an opportunity in the working plan i mean directly into the client side uh, like a petrochemicals refinery but in piping you get a very lesser opportunity in the client side because the pipings are more into the engineering consultant actually but being a rotary and static guy you will get a lot of opportunity in the client side this is an added advantage in rotary so this i hope that this answer is um, quite enough for you to decide your decision so that uh, you can choose which one is right for you actually now let's go to the the last uh, doubt actually which piping software should i learn to become a piping design engineer so we have to understand this actually piping softwares are tools and design engineering are basically engineering guidelines and engineering principles and engineering concepts lot of people are comparing software learning with the design engineering see software learning is just a tool actually uh, today we have pdms today we have e3d but tomorrow you will have some other software actually but uh, design engineering guidelines and principles will not vary like that so in order to become a piping design engineer the first thing what you have to do understand is that you have to train your mind to become a design engineer you have to uh, give more importance to the uh, guidelines principles specifications and uh, the standards actually but the when you talk about softwares see the softwares we could learn within a month or uh, a week even if you are capable you can learn within a week but engineering concepts engineering guidelines are not like that it takes 25 years it takes 30 years it takes 40 years so that is the weightage of being a design engineering and the software oriented uh, kind of an activity so generally those who wanted to become a designer are more concerned about the piping software but if you are willing to become a design engineer definitely software will help actually actually to in order to get the uh, job at the beginning stage of your career but it will not help you in the long run actually say for example most of the design engineers after 8 years of their experience they will not even touch the software so if you wanted to become a design engineer you have to understand this that software is just a tool to become a design engineer you have to know both software and more of design engineering concepts and principles actually because currently because of this competition most companies are expecting you to have both softwares and knowledge actually but there is no case that i have seen that with only software knowledge you are considered as a design engineer see if you are having some sort of um, good knowledge in engineering principles it is easy for you to learn software so there is no such thing like having uh, learned one particular software you will become a uh, design engineer but having said uh, piping software such as sp3d pds and e3d will help you to get the job at the beginning stage of your career but in the long run you need to have a engineering guidelines principles and standards and specification knowledge actually so i hope that this video will definitely help you to understand and clarify your doubts in order to set your mind on track keep this answer all the times in your mind so that you will not be confused in your career if you are into a piping design engineering so i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra